What's going on, Cigar World? What's going on, Cigar Enthusiasts? This is Jack the Cigar Enthusiast, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're doing a review on the H. Upman 175th Anniversary Churchill. So with that being said, strap in, buckle up, and let's go. What's going on, Cigar Enthusiasts? You know, it's your boy, Jack. And before we continue on, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, and give me a big thumbs up so we can keep bringing that fire content as always. Today, we're reviewing a prolific stick that was released back in 2019 to really celebrate the 175th anniversary of one of the most notorious brands has been around since 1918 and that is the h upman brand created by herman upman which was a german banker that went to cuba to really secure a financial deal um once he got down there he really fell in love with sticks and that's when his brand really started and now look at it today at 2020 it is still going around like no other so without further ado you cannot do a cigar review without First, lighting the cigar. Wow. So we finally first just lit this thing. This is actually my first time smoking the H. Upman 175th anniversary. Um, heard a lot of great things about it. But off your first initial draw on the cold pool... You really kind of get more of a caramel uh, sweetness that come in. And as you actually light it and the, the aroma of the smoke starts to feel within your palates, you really get a, a taste of chocolate and nutty flavors that really expose itself in that first drag. You know, the pool... The pool is not bad at all. Snug, not too loose, so resistance on it is really good so this is a chill it is a Nicaraguan Piro which means that the binder the wrapper and the filler all comes and handcrafted in Nicaraguan uh, from Nicaraguan tobacco and it's created by AJ Fernandez to really celebrate um, this big occasion of 175 years Some really basic things that we want to take in um, this is a 7 by 50 Maduro this full body cigar um, but this is a cigar review so let's start smoking really starting to I take my second pull um, and as the smoke continues to sit in on my palace you start to get a real fine I wouldn't say fine but a, a, a good texture of black pepper that comes behind nutty and chocolate uh, taste in the very beginning which is, really presents a great cigar. So far, so good. Uh, let's get through the first quarter of this and then really check in to see how everything is going. We made it through the first third. As I was about to pull it up, my ash fell. But I still got some great things to say about it. At this point, you have a really peppery flavor that has fully started to come out. Caramel flavors and the sweet flavors um has really started to die down and a rich raw leather flavor is also exposing itself right now as well see it has a solid burn line all the way through as we approach the halfway point of this cigar and i must say i'm not disappointed just yet so with that being said halfway point of this cigar and see what else exposes itself within this stick to the halfway point of this seven inch cigar and I must say, it is a really great cigar thus far. Caramel sweetness that really presented itself in the beginning has really started to die down. And the chocolate flavors that I also stated uh, presented itself in the very beginning has started to wither away and really become a more of a, a more profound coffee flavor that doesn't pack such a big blow that you don't really just get punched in the face with it, but more or less, it really starts to expose itself right now. It's really turning into a elegant smoke that really starts to present a more robust black pepper flavor um, and really takes out those notes of that raw leather that I spoke about earlier as well. Um, burn quality is still good all the way around. Uh, the ashes up to that point was really compiled together you can even 
pick them up, which is how tight they were, which shows that the cigar was actually rolled perfect, composes a great cigar. In itself, uh, at this point, in a more medium body cigar, is not overwhelming at all as it was in the very beginning. Ultimately, a really great stick. I did notice as I was about to go back into this segment on my last pull, I did get a hint of cinnamon that, that displayed itself within that cigar as well. And understanding flavors is really hard, especially when you're first beginning uh, as a cigar smoker. As you continue to smoke more cigars, you're going to find uh, that you'll be able to spot those prolific flavors as they come out. But right now, as we make it to the halfway point of this 7-inch cigar i must say it is very enjoyable so let's get into the final third of that cigar and see what other flavors that really exposes itself as we wrap up this cigar as we get to that final third of the actual stick to the part where it's actually a nub left on the cigar which is something of this nature we're starting to realize that those chocolate flavors are starting to return again and flavor that we perceive to be in the halfway point of the cigar are starting to diminish a little bit. The position of the two was really subtle. It wasn't uh, too big of a notice or too big of a jump that it just was like, wow, that was that definitely changed. Um, a couple things that I have noticed of this cigar. Uh, overall, this is a great cigar and a phenomenal cigar. There is a couple touch-ups. Uh, that I will recommend for this stick, um, but not too much. Uh, me personally, I think the cigar was phenomenal and that a lot of cigar enthusiasts would really be able to say the same thing about the cigar. What I would say is that it should be rolled just a tad bit tighter, not too much, just a tad bit tighter. That way that that ash doesn't feel so prone or gets to the point it's too heavy and that it wants to fall off. Uh, I will always say a great roll cigar would typically give you about an inch and a half to two inches before the actual ash tends to fall off. Um, this one is giving me probably a little less than an inch before it actually falls off. This is about where the ash gets to once it falls. So I would say the construction of it just needs to be a tad bit tighter, but overall, I think it's a phenomenal stick. If I would smoke this cigar again, uh, me personally, this is a phenomenal cigar and I would not mind spending the extra money it takes to purchase this cigar and add a few to my actual collection. Uh, there was only 150,000 sticks actually created, which roughly, estimates about 14,000 boxes that was created of this stick. I to smoke this uh, in an actual cigar lounge or a drinking setting. I would probably pair it with a owl or a porter that really will help illustrate those chocolate notes a little bit more. I also personally think it will pair great with a bourbon or a rum that is really a smooth taste to balance this cigar out overall. Me personally, um, I would give this cigar maybe a 91 or a 92 rating, uh, which means that this is a great cigar that you want to add to your collection. To learn more about this cigar and really taste what I taste, go to DapperDCigars.com, order you a couple of them to add to your collection, and see if you believe the same thing I stated about this cigar. Me personally, I don't feel like you will be let down, and I personally think that you will be like, Jack, that was a really good cigar. Being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this cigar review. Go follow my social media accounts on Facebook at Dapper D Cigars and Instagram at Dapper D Cigars as well. Also, be looking out if you're in the Jacksonville area for the opening of Dapper D Cigar Emporium, which is going to be a valued asset here in the city and allow you guys that's traveling through Florida, whether you're going to Miami, Orlando, to want to stop by Dapper D Cigars because it's going to be that elegant and luxury experience. With that being said, I'm Jack the Cigar Enthusiast. I hope you guys enjoyed your time with me, and I'm gone.